We're familiar with uh, electricity in this area because, of course, we have the famous Three Mile Island. You know, we, we see the uh, end point of that generation, these extremely bright lights here in this church, blinding, not really, but we see the end point. And we know the energy that it takes to produce these lights. You know, we see the big smokestacks, but underneath and, and, and aside from it, apparently since the, the, electric, the, um, the plant has been shut down, they have to put all of the spent fuel somewhere on that island. And so they built these huge concrete cases and lots of them to store all of the energy that was used in previous, the previous 40 years. And so a lot of energy and money and effort went in to produce just this. And a hydroelectric plant or a water um, in, a, uh, in a dam, you need 12,000 gallons of water to produce a megawatt hour, which means for two 60 watt bulbs for one year to just be lit the whole year, you need 12,000 gallons of water to go over a dam. That is a lot for two 60 watt light bulbs. And so when you think, we think about turning on a light, it really means nothing to us, even to keep it on for a long time because it really doesn't cost much, but the energy that it takes back at the source to turn those lights on is huge. The energy at the source is so much and we take for granted what we do. And so today in the gospel, no one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed, right? Because if you're going to take, take the money to buy the oil for a lamp, you're not going to light it and then put it under. So you don't take it for granted. But what do we do with what God has given us? The source and all of the energy that the source, our God, has given to us through the, through the sacrifice of the cross. The world is generated. Life is generated by the sacrifice of the cross. And so when we live our life, and we live it by taking it for granted, by not really producing or living in contact with the source, we're taking it for granted, we're wasting it, we're throwing it away. And so, brothers and sisters, the source, our God, has produced so much energy. Let's live in accord with that. We're doing that today by hearing his word, his true word, and by receiving his life. We're connecting ourselves to that source. How can we not be affected? Let's live today as if we are truly connected to that source, because we are. What a great gift we have in our Savior. But he gives us his life. Let's live in accord with it and act today as if we are connected to him because we are.